With many schools across North Dakota struggling to find money for programs, a nonprofit is giving a school a big hand up. KX News as William Albert shows us just how a few people were able to help a school hungry for change in this month's Not In Our Town. Full minds and full bellies. That's what the Aggie Foundation hopes its recent donation of $39,000 to TGU Granville School's lunch program will be for its many students. The school got the money this September and reached out to local business owner Dustin Fraunfelter, who has partnered with the Aggie Foundation to help students who are facing food insecurity. Fraunfelter says that when he was approached by Granville faculty, he was shocked by just how much of a need there was with students not being able to have a proper lunch. The faculty tell you that Kids have come to school for last year eating fruit snacks or just a peanut butter or sandwich, peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day. It kind of hit home a little bit that <clears throat> kids are in need. Since the donation, the usage of the lunch program has continued to increase among students as the year has gone on. According to the Aggie Foundation, close to 30 additional students will be able to have free lunch during the school year because of the donation. Well, the beginning of the school year, they had approached me and they said there's about 122 kids eating lunch every day. <clears throat> now they're saying there's anywhere from 145 to 155 kids eating lunch every day. Some of the kids have never eaten lunch before and now they're getting a hot meal every day because they didn't have the opportunity before if families didn't have the money to pay for it. So the only thing to families are responsible now as if the child wanted seconds. The Aggie Foundation has continued to fund projects like this through its charitable gaming efforts through gaming machines inside the Thirsty Beaver Bar in Granville. Money was made here in the bar for off the gaming. So the whole check came from the Aggie Foundation, but all the money that they made actually came out of the Thirsty Beaver. Board President of the Aggie Foundation, Terry Peterson, says being able to make a real difference to the organization's efforts makes it all worth it. Uh, you take a little bit of financial burden off, they're free to then learn and participate in extracurriculars and a, a whole host of other things. So it's not maybe the uh, the really fun thing to, to fund, but it, it's such an important thing to fund that contributes to their success. And uh, our return on investment in that, I think, is 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 pretty big. Peterson says that being able to keep the money made from the Thirsty Beaver gaming machines in the community and give it to groups that need it is very valuable to the community. This partnership between charitable gaming organizations and, and, and bars, especially in, in smaller communities, can be a huge thing. It can make a huge impact in these small communities when done right and when their relationship is, is, is a positive one. Making sure no kid has to go hungry in this edition of Not In Our Town. In Granville for KX News, I'm William Albert. The help doesn't stop there. The Thirsty Beaver will be hosting a meat raffle on the 27th. Tickets are $20 and the proceeds go toward continuing to fund the Granville lunch program.